Right, today, um, what I want to do today is I want to show you how to prepare a loin of pork, as which we have here. Um, we're going to do, we're going to stuff it, we're going to roll it and tie it, and we're going to roast it, and also we're also going to put a, a honey glaze on it, okay? So, we'll go through the, the, the steps here of actually putting the whole dish together. Um, the first thing that we want to do is, um, we want to actually, the loin of pork here, is <clears throat> needs to be flattened out, it needs to be battened out, it needs to be made larger that we can actually get a, a good roll on it. Um, so we're going to prepare it first of all for, for actual battening, um, which is going to actually make the meat flatter and wider obviously. So first thing to do is take the pork, get a sharp knife, and all I want you to do is just basically go down without actually going out near the edges, but in the centre here, I just want you to cut down like this into the centre. Go down about a half an inch into the actual flesh itself and what we're going to do then is we're going to actually batten it out. Now you can see here how far I've gone down. I'm going to go down a little bit further in each of these. Okay, that's deep enough. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get a um, plastic bag or some piece of plastic. Cling film can do, um, but as long as it's a, it's a piece of plastic that will um, protect the actual meat from uh, being destroyed as we're actually battening it down. Um, I'll get a piece of plastic and I'll come back to you in a minute. Now, I'm using a plastic bag for this. It's um, very straightforward, there's nothing major about it. What you want to do is just put the pork in, skin side down inside the bag get it ready there for actual battening. You want to leave a little bit of space either side as the meat spreads out. Now, I'm actually using a heavy rolling pin for this. and um, I'll show you the, the principles of it to actually begin. Uh, it's a very noisy procedure, as you'll see in a second. So I'll start you off, I'll show you exactly what way to do it. So the first thing you need to do is turn the meat at its side, okay? And we just begin by battening as you can see there, okay? Now I'm not going to take you through all the noise of this, I'll come back to you in a minute when I have this done. Now I've battened the meat out, as you can see here when I take it out. The meat is now about doubled in size and we've got a nice piece of meat there that we can get ready to roll. So the next thing now is we're going to stuff it, then we're going to tie it and get it ready for roasting. Now I'm just about to stuff this now. I'm using a basic stuffing parsley, sage, um, some thyme and onion. Nothing major, nothing dramatic, it's a fairly basic stuffing. So what I want to do is I just want to get it out into the meat first of all like so. And then what we want to do is we just want to get it pressed down into the actual flesh itself and get it ready. So just not all the way out to the edge, just in the center like so. Okay, that's ready now for rolling. Right, now we're about ready to just to roll the pork. Now what you want to, want to do is basically just pull the actual loin towards you like so, okay? Because we want to create a sort of a Swiss roll effect. And we want the fat on the outside, obviously, and the meat on the inside. So that's basically what we're going to do in relation to rolling it there, alright? Now, we're just going to tie it now. So what you want basically is about three pieces of butcher's twine or any heavy twine that can take the heat of the oven. So we'll start off here like so. And it's just basically simple, three simple knots. By the way, if you're going to tie something, okay, just putting an extra couple of loops in like this as you're actually straightforward, no, no major big deal here. But if you're putting, put in a couple of extra loops in that, as you can see there, all right, and just pull it down. Because what happens is when you put those extra loops in, all right, and pull it together, they will actually keep the pressure on the actual piece of meat itself before you tie off. So you can see here that the meat, the string is tight, the meat is there, there's nobody, you don't, you don't need anybody extra to help you. So putting in a couple of extra loops will do that. So then we just tie it off here like so. A couple of extra there. Okay, that's ready. And then the next piece. see there I'm just putting in the extra loops there now just pull it down like so 
again it's being kept tight tie it off like that Right, that's ready now to get into the oven. Um, we're going to put a little bit of a glaze on it first in the pan before we actually put it in the oven. So I'll come back to you when I have the pan ready to go and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now I have the pan on. I'm just getting it hot here with some oil. I'm just going to throw a small amount of butter in it as well. Um, just the oil and the butter mix. You get the heat of the oil and the flavour of the butter. So <clears throat> just melt it around like that. Okay, that's just ready now. Now, I'm putting the pork in, as you can see here. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to get a golden colour on the outside of the skin before we actually put it into the oven. And so, I'll just put this in like first, like so. Just give it a bit of a roll around like that. So, also as well, don't forget your seasoning. I'm using some salt and pepper that I have mixed here. Uh, two salt to one pepper is the, is the ratio. So I'm just going to let that colour up for a couple of minutes. Um, we'll come back to you when it's done. This is starting to colour up nicely now, as you can see. You just want to turn it around on all sides. You have to get your seasoning as you go around each side. And I have it there on the, the back now. I'm just turning it onto the side. And it's the same colour there. Uh, let's have a look. You can see that's colouring up fairly quickly, fairly nicely. So I'm just going to keep turning it around until I have a, a nice golden colour all around the skin. That's going to help to crisp up the skin as well and the fat on it for, um, for some cracking. Um, I'll show, in another video actually I'll show you some tips in relation to pork crackling, how to get the actual pork really, um, the cracking really, really crispy. Um, we do that again in another video. So as you see there, that's coming up nicely now. So back onto the other side. Season again, don't forget. So we're nearly finished now in relation to getting this ready. Now this is going to be going into <coughs> a preheated oven at about uh, 180 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 350, 355 Fahrenheit. Um, it's going to go in for about an hour. Um, we're not going to take it above that temperature at all. We, that's why we're actually colouring the skin now to get to uh, actually help the crisping process as, as it's roasting. So, okay, that's nearly done. Last piece now. Okay, I've just got a tray. Okay, we're just about ready now, so I'm just going to take this off, just check it once more, make sure that that has an even all over colour, which it does. One last little piece there, just sort that out now. Okay, now you can see there's an even golden colour all the way around this piece. Um, this is now ready, as I said, to go straight onto the tray, into the oven, and then um, we'll begin the roasting process. Okay, there's the meat, ready for roasting. Nothing complicated or difficult about that. So when you're actually putting the meat into the oven to roast, you want to make sure as well that on the area that you tied off at the bottom, that's what you want to put the meat sitting down on, okay? 
So that's ready for the oven now. Um, we're going to put it in and come back to you during the glazing process. Okay. Right, here's our pork. It's about halfway through the cooking process. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to actually baste it up slightly and we're also going to put on um, our honey glaze to start with, alright? So we're just going to straight forward, just brush it down with the fat that's actually coming off the actual roast itself. Nothing dramatic about this as you can see. So it's been basted up there now. Now, okay, now the next thing that I want to do is I just want to get some honey. Straightforward again, nothing spectacular about this. As you can see, I'm just using ordinary honey here. Um, out of the jar and directly onto the actual skin. Now, I don't want too much at this moment in time. Just make sure you put some in the front. Okay. Now, that's it for the moment, okay? Now, this is going back into the oven. Like I said, it's on for about 35 minutes now at this stage. There's around about 20 minutes left in this cooking process, but we want to be careful now that we don't burn the actual skin with the honey itself. So this is step one, we'll be doing this again one more time after this. Right, you can see the pork is out for the second time now. Again, we're just gonna baste it as before with the juices from the pan. Make sure we get it all over. And there's about 10 minutes cooking left in this. So after that, once it's cooked, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes after that, okay? So, okay, that's that. Now, the honey. Keep it in the center, because when the honey heats, it's just gonna run down on the outside of the rest of the, the skin and the meat. So, that's that. Back into the oven for about another 10 minutes, and then that's it out and let it rest for 15 before we carve. Right, um, here we are now, pork is out, it's rested. Um, we're gonna carve it and we're gonna put it onto this flat board here. Um, it smells great and it looks great too. So let me get some carving here. Let's see how we turn out. Try and turn and show you how I'm carving here. like so on the board and you can see we have the Swiss roll effect with the actual meat. I'll turn it around for you now and you can see. Ah, there we go. There's our honey roast pork um, that's stuffed. Straightforward sage thyme onion stuffing. Um, that's it. Ready and done. Nothing difficult about it. You can do this as well. Uh, enjoy. Don't forget, visit the site, easyrecipeshq.com. Thanks. Bye.